Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about drought. In my area we're having an extensive heat wave and I'm going to be talking about hints to survive this drought and the heat wave. We haven't had rain it seems like forever. I know it's been almost two months if not longer. It's August Yes, it's a hot part of the, the time of the year, but everything is powdery dry. The leaves on the trees are turning brown and actually falling off. We water some of these trees. They're 145 year old oak trees. It just doesn't seem to make any difference. You can water them for two hours at a time. At the proper time in the morning or in the evening, they still drop their leaves. I've contacted an arborist to ask how to handle the trees and the watering during this severe drought and heat wave that we're having. I've never gone through a heat wave like this. I've never seen the trees react like this. I have seen in 2011 the leaves would be transparent because they were the trees were thirsty. So you would water and then they would perk up a little bit. <clears throat> but I have never seen dry leaves fall off trees like it's fall and you're still watering. I water deep. We make sure and water all the trees uh, on a schedule. Again, I've contacted an arborist and you'll see another video where I come back and let you know what he said to do uh, to try to battle this heat, this, dra this drought that we're having. Some hints to survive, not only with your trees or your lawn or whatever it might be. If you have a foundation on your home and it's not pear and bean, my suggestion is to water around the foundation. Now, what I have learned in the past is three from the foundation out, water that space. Usually it's a flower bed, which makes sense. Um, water that space and I rotate. I start at one part of the house, I water, move the sprinkler around, and I usually water about 30 minutes, then move the sprinkler, and then in a couple of days, I've made a complete circle all the way around the house. Now, I make sure and do that a couple of times a week because the other part of the week, I'm watering trees and trying to keep everything else alive. The garden is suffering. In fact, there's hardly anything left in the garden. It's just fried. Again, I have never seen this type of heat. It, it's like it burns your skin when you're out there. So you can't stay out there very long, not in the direct sun. I've been in, in a heat wave before, but it just never felt like this. Another way to survive is make sure and hydrate. Not only, my suggestion is don't drink anything with caffeine in it. Don't drink anything alcoholic when you're out in the heat. Now, my suggestion only, I drink water and I usually put water in a plastic bottle and I freeze it. I put a half of the water in the plastic bottle and freeze it. And then I use something called Pedialyte. They're different flavors and it's to hydrate young children or anyone. I put a little bit of that in there and then I take it outside and I have that when I'm working in the in the garden or I could just be sitting there hand watering something but I always have something with me. Also the heat wave I wear sunglasses every time I go outside when the sun is out. A hat. I pull my hair back. I wear light colored clothing, like white, 100% cotton shirts. Now, I might have a very thin 100% cotton white shirt, long sleeve, to keep the sun off of me. I do wear long pants. I wear jeans, and I wear boots, and I wear socks, and people think I'm crazy, but it keeps me safe because there are critters out there that could be crawling around and I don't want any surprises. Another way to battle this heat wave 
is if you have a kiddie pool, if you have a blow up pool, if you have a real swimming pool, above ground pool, that's a great way to cool off. The drought is affecting many things, many plants, trees, but also a thing that comes with this drought that I have not seen in many, many years are these grasshoppers. It seems like the hotter it gets and the drier it gets, the more they are out there eating everything. Some of the trees look like sticks, the little ones. Some of the plants, I hope, I hope they're still alive because I don't see any leaves. Some plants, I don't even see stems. Usually this time of the year, my day lilies are blooming, they're in full bloom and they're gorgeous because they love the heat. This year, they died back about a month ago. Now I water things. Grasshoppers ate everything. They're gone. So grasshoppers love the drought and the heat and they're looking for something to eat. So they're eating everything. Well, I'm glad you stopped by today. Again, this is about drought and the heat wave and just a couple of hints to survive this time that we're in. Everyone hopes that we're going to get rain. I know that some parts of the country are getting too much rain. We just need a little rain. If you found some of these hints helpful, give me a thumbs up. And in the comments below, let me know if you're having a drought and a heat wave in your area. What are some of the hints that you might have for the viewers? Because right now we all need as much help as we can trying to battle what we're all going through. I appreciate you stopping by and I'll definitely see you in the next video.